In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect ChatGPT to NA10. So the first thing you want to do is go to NA10 and you want to click on add first step or if you're in a project, you've already done some things, you can just add another step. Now in here, in search notes, you don't want to look for ChatGPT. I mean, you can, however, it's going to be called OpenAI. As you can see over here, you just search for the OpenAI and then click on it. And then over here, you can basically select any of these actions. So for this, I'm going to just do create an assistant over here. But of course, you can do any you're free to do. So once you do that, you will first have to get in your credentials. So you want to click on credential to connect with and then select credential, create new credential. And over here, we're going to need the API key of OpenAI. And the way you can actually do this is you want to go to openai.com. And once you're on openai.com, at the top right, you can see a login button. Hover over that and then click on API platform. And then you will just have to log in with your OpenAI account. And once you do this, you'll see this website. On here, you want to click on API reference, top right over here. And once you're an API reference, you just want to go here where it says authentication. And then it says you can create, manage and learn more about API keys in your organization settings. Click on organization settings. And this link will take you over here. Now in here, we can actually create our API key. So click on create new secret key. You can give it a name over here. So we're just going to do test. And then you can select a project. I'm just going to do default. And over here, you can do permissions, all restricted or read only. So that's totally up to you what you want to do. And then click on create secret key. After you click this, as you can see, you'll see your secret key over here. What you have to then do is simply click on copy. And then you want to do done. And after you've copied it, you want to go back to your NA10, paste in the API key over here. And then you can put in the organization ID in case you want to. It's optional. You don't have to do it and the base URL should usually stay as it is. After that, click on save. It's going to start testing. There we go. As you can see, credential successfully created in test project. And after you've done this, as you can see, we've successfully connected ChatGPT or OpenAI to NA10. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.